Question 8. How does the grid ETF fit into a diversified investment portfolio? The grid ETF can potentially fit into a diversified investment portfolio as a satellite holding that provides exposure to a specific growth sector. Here's how it might function within a diversified portfolio. Benefits of including grid ETF Growth potential The smart grid and electrical energy infrastructure sector is anticipated to experience significant growth due to the factors mentioned previously, demand for clean energy, aging infrastructure, government support. Including the grid ETF allows you to potentially capitalize on this growth and enhance your portfolio's overall return potential. Diversification. While the ETF focuses on a specific sector, it still offers diversification across multiple companies within that sector. This helps spread risk compared to investing in individual companies within the smart grid space. Alignment with SRI goals. If your investment strategy prioritizes socially responsible investing SRI, the focus on clean energy and infrastructure upgrades associated with the grid ETF can complement your overall goals. Considerations for portfolio integration. Allocation size. Given the sector-specific nature of the ETF, it's recommended to allocate a smaller percentage of your portfolio to the grid ETF. This helps manage risk and ensure your portfolio isn't overly concentrated in one sector. Overall asset allocation. The ideal allocation for the grid ETF depends on your investment goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. A younger investor with a longer time horizon might allocate a slightly higher percentage compared to someone nearing retirement with a more conservative investment strategy. Portfolio balance. Consider how the grid ETF balances your existing portfolio. If your portfolio already leans heavily towards growth stocks, adding the grid ETF might increase overall risk. Conversely, if your portfolio is heavily weighted towards more traditional sectors like utilities or financials, the grid ETF could add diversification and growth potential. Alternatives for sector exposure Broader clean energy ETFs. Explore ETFs that encompass a wider range of clean energy technologies beyond just smart grid infrastructure. This can offer broader diversification within the clean energy theme. Clean energy mutual funds. Actively managed clean energy mutual funds can provide exposure to the sector while potentially offering some advantages like stock selection and portfolio management by experienced professionals. Question 9. How does the grid ETF compare to other ETFs focusing on clean energy or technology sectors? Here's a comparison of the grid ETF with other ETFs focusing on clean energy or technology sectors here. Focus here. Grid ETF focuses specifically on the global smart grid and electrical energy infrastructure sector. Clean energy ETFs. These ETFs can have a broader focus, encompassing various clean energy technologies like solar, wind, geothermal, and energy efficiency, in addition to smart grid technologies. Technology ETFs. These ETFs can be even broader encompassing a wide range of technology companies across various subsectors like semiconductors, software, and hardware, potentially including some companies involved in smart grid technologies, but not limited to that specific sector. Diversification here. Grid ETF offers less diversification compared to broader clean energy or technology ETFs as it focuses on a single sector. 
Clean Energy ETFs offer more diversification within the clean energy space compared to the grid ETF. The technology ETFs offer the highest level of diversification among the three options, potentially including companies from various technology subsectors beyond clean energy. The risk ear grid ETF carries higher sector-specific risk due to its concentration on the smart grid and electrical energy infrastructure sector. Clean energy ETFs generally have lower sector-specific risk than the grid ETF due to their broader diversification within the clean energy theme. Technology ETFs generally have the lowest sector-specific risk due to their broader diversification across various technology subsectors. The potential return here. Grid ETF may offer higher potential returns if the smart grid and electrical infrastructure sector experiences significant growth. The clean energy ETFs may offer moderate potential returns with the potential for growth in the broader clean energy sector. Technology ETFs can offer a range of potential returns depending on the specific subsectors they focus on, with some subsectors potentially experiencing higher growth than others. Choosing the right ETF depends on your investment goals and risk tolerance here. If you believe the smart grid and electrical infrastructure sector has high growth potential and are comfortable with higher sector-specific risk, the grid ETF might be a suitable option. If you prefer broader exposure to the clean energy sector with moderate risk, consider clean energy ETFs. If you seek broad diversification across the technology sector, and are comfortable with potentially lower sector-specific exposure to clean energy, technology ETFs could be an option. Question 10. How does the evolving landscape of energy storage technologies impact the investment thesis for the grid ETF? The evolving landscape of energy storage technologies has a significant impact on the investment thesis for the grid ETF presenting both opportunities and challenges here. Opportunities here. Increased demand for grid integration, as renewable energy sources like solar and wind become more prevalent, their intermittent nature necessitates effective energy storage solutions for grid integration. This creates increased demand for companies within the grid ETF that develop, manufacture, and integrate energy storage technologies into the grid infrastructure. Emerging storage technologies, advancements in battery storage, pumped hydro storage, and other emerging technologies offer promising solutions for large-scale energy storage. Companies within the grid ETF involved in these technologies could benefit from the growth potential of these new markets. Enhanced grid efficiency and reliability, efficient energy storage can optimize grid operations by storing excess energy during off-peak periods and releasing it during peak demand times. This can benefit companies within the grid ETF that provide solutions for grid management and optimization. Challenges EW Cost competitiveness, energy storage technologies, are still evolving and may not be cost-competitive with traditional generation sources in all scenarios. This can impact the adoption rate and hinder the growth of companies solely reliant on storage solutions. Policy and regulatory uncertainty The regulatory landscape surrounding energy storage is still developing in many regions. Uncertainties in policies and regulations can create challenges for companies in this space. Competition from established players. Traditional energy companies and technology giants may enter the energy storage market, posing competitive threats 
to existing players within the grid ETF. Overall, the evolving landscape of energy storage technologies presents a complex picture for the grid ETF. While it offers exciting opportunities for companies involved in this space, it also presents certain challenges that need to be considered. Question 11. What are some alternative ways to invest in the smart grid sector? Beyond the grid ETF, there are several alternative ways to invest in the smart grid sector, each offering different benefits and risks. 1. Clean Energy ETFs with Smart Grid Exposure Many clean energy ETFs, while not solely focused on the smart grid, allocate a portion of their holdings to companies involved in this sector. These ETFs offer broader diversification within the clean energy theme while still providing some exposure to smart grid technologies. 2. Actively Managed Clean Energy Mutual Funds Actively managed clean energy mutual funds allow investors to benefit from the expertise of fund managers who actively select and manage their holdings within the clean energy sector, including companies involved in smart grid technologies. This approach can offer potentially higher returns but comes with management fees and the inherent risks associated with actively managed funds. 3. Individual Company Stocks yeah. Investing directly in individual companies within the smart grid sector can offer greater potential returns if the chosen companies perform well. However, this approach also carries higher individual company risk and requires thorough research and due diligence to select promising companies. 4. Venture Capital or Private Equity For accredited investors with a high risk tolerance and long investment horizon, venture capital or private equity firms investing in early stage smart grid companies might offer the potential for high returns. However, these investments are illiquid, illiquid meaning they cannot be easily sold or converted to cash and carry a significant risk of loss. Question 12. How can options strategies be employed with grid ETF for potential income generation, hedging, or other investment objectives? It's important to understand that options strategies involve significant risks and are generally not suitable for all investors. They can be complex and require a deep understanding of options mechanics, market risks, and potential losses. Here's a brief overview of some potential options strategies that could be employed with the grid ETF, but it's crucial to consult with a qualified financial professional before implementing any of these strategies. 1. Covered Calls for Income Generation Strategy Sell call options on the grid ETF while holding shares of the ETF. Potential benefits the O generate premium income from selling the call options. O potentially limit upside potential if the ETF price rises above the strike price of the call option. Potential risks here. O. Oh, if the ETF price rises above the strike price, you are obligated to sell your shares at the strike price, even if the price continues to rise. O. Oh, you lose any potential gains above the strike price. 2. Cash secured puts for income generation and potential share acquisition. Strategy. Sell put options on the grid ETF while holding cash equal to the strike price of the put options. Potential benefits the O generate premium income from selling the put options. O potentially acquire shares of the grid ETF at a discounted price, the strike price, if the ETF price falls below the strike price. 
Potential risks if O. If the ETF price falls below the strike price, you are obligated to buy shares at the strike price, even if the price continues to decline. O. You tie up your cash collateral for the duration of the options contract. E. 3. Protective puts for hedging if Strategy Buy put options on the grid ETF while holding shares of the ETF. E. Potential benefits if O. Provide downside protection for your existing ETF holdings. If the ETF price falls, the put options will gain value, potentially offsetting some of your losses. E. Potential risks if O. The cost of buying the put options reduces your overall potential return on the ETF investment. E. O the put options may expire worthless if the ETF price remains above the strike price. Remember, these are just a few examples, and there are numerous other options strategies that can be employed. It's essential to carefully consider your investment objectives, risk tolerance, and financial situation before attempting any options strategies. Alright, folks. That's all we have for the GRID ETF today. Remember, this is just a starting point, and it's crucial to conduct your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. But hopefully, this video gave you a solid foundation for understanding the GRID ETF and its potential role in your investment portfolio. If you enjoyed this content, hit that like button and subscribe to Chat ETF for more in-depth discussions about complex investments made simple. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.